Hi guys, welcome back to our playthrough of Alan Wake. We are on our way back to the cabin that we started the game at. The cabin that apparently no longer exists. We're on our way to Calden Lake. Everything's on fire! Everything's on fire oh, no, and a broken car. And Look. gone. Yeah. Oh! Haunted monster truck! Jeez! God, this stuff just got real, real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, we're back in the mode. Cool. That was... Wow. That took an intense turn. Yeah, I'll say. Because all of the roads previously were just kind of... Oh, is there something behind us? I yes, think the road is. might be Ooh, breaking. Oops. Okay. Yeah, let's just... Oh, because we're on a bridge. Hundreds of feet off the ground. Uh, bus! Yep. Bus! Bus! Tires! Things! Don't run into that! But yeah, don't run into that either. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to get out and run. Because you broke the car. Well, that's part of it, yes. That's not the only reason I have to get out. The other reason I have to get out is because everybody parks at 45 degree angles to one another. Hey, look at the goop. I'll pop the goop. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter if I pop the goop or not, does it? No, you could probably just try avoiding it. Hey, maybe I can roll this with me in case I need it later. Or I can leave it right there because I need it right now. Ow. Alan is deadly. I mean, did you see that? Just shooting people in the head left and right. Looks like there was more ammo back there on the ground. Oh, there's ammo everywhere. Okay, now it's shotgun time. Wow. There they are. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, it's because his gun is not loaded. Of course it is. Because Alan... Explode, thank you. Oh, there's more. Oh, jeez, yeah, wow. come on. This tunnel is... This tunnel is not good tunnel. This is bad tunnel. The game heard me talking about how surprisingly deadly Alan was, and they are like, oh, really? Is that so? Let's see how you like 30 shadow zombies. And it's still foggy, which means we're not done. I'm gonna push this with me, in case I need it. Maybe I should just sprint for the... Oh, there oh, you oh. go. Well, that didn't really do anything at all. That, however, did. I like the flashbangs. I hope I find hundreds of them. Oh, there's another truck. A truck protected by the light. Look. And is there a button for the sirens so I can turn on the sirens? There does not seem to be. Would you like to make siren noises for me? No, that's alright. There's a stop right up here, though. No, there's a detour. I'm gonna drive this work truck on the work road. Hey, that's a friendly looking light, isn't it? 
guarding another truck. Okay. I'll get out. I'll open that gate. And then I'll take that truck. What does this say? All visitors must see the yard manager. Junk piles may shift. Alright. That's the yard manager. Every time the game says that Alan needs to meet somebody, is that haunted? No, it's just having physics problems. That looks like the button we want. Is it? It is the button we want. Flare gun. Sure. I'll take one, just in case. Okay, I could probably spend time looking around because obviously there's outside stuff behind the building. But... I will instead continue our journey towards Cauldron Lake. And I'm gonna get in this fresh truck. Hey guy. Oh yeah, hey guy. Alan. efforts to do incredibly impressive jumps were not successful. Obviously, the only thing to do is to go twice as fast and try it again. Excellent job, Alan. Good driver. We just found a junkyard out in the middle of nowhere. Which is on fire. It's not that unbelievable that a junkyard would be on fire. Okay, manuscript page means we're going in the right direction. Oh. No. It's just... See, that's how you press the A button and start machines. Ah, hmm. oh, get to the truck! I mean, I know you have to pick up... I know you have to push that button, but... And the truck has AC. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight that on foot. I'm gonna fight it with the truck. Okay, I was... Alan, uh... Alan, what are you? Alan, what? Okay, that works too. That is strange. He just hops himself out. Okay, let's, let's do all of that again but with less of the dying and more of the getting away from the bulldozer. So should I go for the truck a second time and just see if I can get the headlight pointed at it? I don't know, you it? might wanna just... I'm not sure. Oh, you still have to pick up those things behind you? Or there's like batteries? Uh, batteries, yeah. Batteries and electricity. I mean, I'll take the batteries. Never hurts having too many batteries. Where, Where was 
Where's that light switch? There you go. What does it do? I'm what? not sure what it just did. I pushed it. Well, look oh, look, it's it. lifting. Very slowly. Oh, it destroyed your truck first. Yep, it's targeting the truck, not me. What a stupid bulldozer. Hey. Huh? Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, now you can probably run away. Well, now I can actually fight the little guys. Because Alan can handle little guys. Your truck completely broken. Um, I guess not. I guess so. Okay, well, now you can get away. On foot, I will head underneath this. I, maybe there's another truck parked right around the corner. Yep. Yet another desolate country road. We'll be fine. as if I knew what I was doing. What that means is get out of the car. Go on foot. You'll be fine. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with... Look. Oh, wow. I had to write a happy ending to a horror... Hole story. on the floor. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Where do I go to get out? I followed. Oh. They wouldn't have these if it didn't mean that there weren't going to be some more haunted barrels. I will never give her to you. Is that a church in a haunted Old West looking town? Looks like it. It is. Um, let's go inside. I don't like this. Hey, do you hear that? Farmers are the opposite of hunter-gatherers. So I'll just sit here for a little bit and see if any more come to me. There he goes. That's another chainsaw guy. I don't see the storm of barrels. It means it's probably hiding. Right oh, there's up here. A searchlight. Oh, I want to get to the searchlight. I definitely want the searchlight. Okay. Whatever's going on in whatever's going on over there, it is not worth not having a searchlight. Is it? Yep, 
it's springing enemies on me where I can't aim at them. Oh, it was two chainsaw guys. You know, it might have been able to hit them. Okay. The um, you might want to pick up those flares and flashbangs. Oh, never mind. No flashbang. Just ammo. Still flares. Which flares are okay. Our fight in the haunted town didn't go as badly as I thought it would. Might not be over yet. Is there a manuscript page back there in that room? I will... Okay. Does it let me stop? It does. You were correct. There is a manuscript page. Okay, now we will continue pushing the cart. Okay, we just pushed a cart to its death. You're such a jerk, Alan. That's a good thing that murder laws in Washington State aren't especially strict. Yeah, they are. Alan is never going to get charged for what he did to that poor cart. I see you have zero sympathy for the carts that are ignored by the justice system. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Oh, look at the birds. I don't like the birds. You need to stop minimizing the plight of, of non-motorized wheeled platforms. Really? People care about cars just because they have motors. But they're not really any different than non-motored platforms. Do you say so? Oh, look. Are you going to get to ride on it? Exciting minecart ride. Um, there we go. Cool. You really do get to do everything, Alan, don't you? Not very quickly. Not yet. We're gonna build up some speed. Oh, I see those birds. Good thing I've got my flashlight ready. Yeah, now he's going slightly faster. All right, that was the end of it. What an exciting ride. And is there going to be a car? No. There is not a car. Ah, we've found yet another haunted mine. And does this drop us, yeah, right back where we started mostly. And it points us at the ladder. So we probably went through that area exactly how the developers intended us to. Okay, that's just enough. Okay, so we could have gone straight up the ladder. Ooh, do we get to ride this cart? Shoot the birds, Alan. We don't 
don't get to ride this cart. That wagon wheel, though. It's having fun. This is the most fun it's had since the 1970s. The 1870s? 18. Oh, come on. Yeah, you take a deep breath on, try not to die. Should I go back down? Oh. Well, you want all those things, right? Yeah. It gave me more flashbangs. Can never have too many flashbangs. Never have too many shotguns. Okay, Alan, so you see how good you did with that little jump? You see that? That's what I expect you to do up here on the big jump. There's the birds. We fight off the birds again. Push the cart over the ledge. You might want to try taking a running jump. That might work. I tried running jumping last time. It's just my timing was not good enough. See? Running jump. Good job. Is that the end of the birds? I think so. That looks like a person up there, doesn't it? It is. It's a shadow person. See it? Oh. I'll just I didn't sit here. see it, but... See, it's... Good job. I can just see the top of his hat. I'm gonna pop his shield. How you saw that, I don't even know. Uh, I saw the hat. The hat stuck out compared to the more organic shapes. So when you want, he jumps down behind you. Or when you go up there. I'm gonna go up and meet him. His shield's probably going to come back by the time I get up to him. More goo. We'll pop the goo. Can hardly see the goo. Where's Hat Guy? Hey, Hat Guy. I'm going to shoot you. There he is, see? Oh, I guess their shields don't come back. Handy. I mean, not handy for him, but I don't mind. And now, the house, which has random mattress lawn chair. Okay, the, the house was not nearly as dramatic as I made it sound when I said, THE HOUSE. Had an emergency box. Well, Alan's not having an emergency. He knows exactly what he's supposed to do. Too bad he has to go on foot. This looks like a great place to be surrounded. Uh-oh. Why did... Okay. Surprise truck! I 
wonder how the darkness decides which people get to be fast. Let's see, is this going to be the only surprise truck that gets dropped on us? Generator. As soon as we take care of this guy. There's another guy that's coming up behind you. Okay, now that we've taken care of those guys, I'm going to make myself another a nice toasty checkpoint. Hey, look, a propeller. A boat. You know what that means. Ghost boat. Is that a boat? Shame. I'll find out if it's a boat in just one second. Man, you almost had that guy too. That's not one of the fast ones. That's just a regular one. And that is the end of the fast guy. Those guys are just annoying. It turns out that when you stick your face in front of somebody's shotgun, they shoot you. Oh, trees are falling over. Behind you. There okay, you go. I'm just gonna... And that tree's on fire. See that? I do see that. That really seems like bad news. I mean, for the trees more so than Alan. I can't imagine being on fire is pleasant for a tree. There's the boat. That's the boat. Excuse me, Mr. Boat. Are you missing a propeller? Yeah. My writer battery. Where'd the enemies go? You don't want the flashbang? I will just as soon... Oh, there's two of them and they're the fast ones. That's what caused the problem. Yeah, I'll just stand here spinning circles until I catch them. That's what happened every other time. Spin around the circles until they walk in front of you. That is the strategy for dealing with the fast enemies. One more... You know what I think would be interesting? If they had a daylight mode in the game. It's not at night. So you just, like, Just around? regular, full lighting. Well, still with the enemies and everything, but... If you made it so that everything was regular levels of daylight, the game wouldn't really be creepy at all. And it wouldn't seem as intense. It would just be like, oh yeah, regular walking woods. These woods probably wouldn't look scary. The woods would actually look probably pleasant. Well, yeah, but then the darkness wouldn't show up because they you know, show up in the dark. I think you are overthinking the thing that I thought would be a cool extra. You know, you finish the game and then you unlock daylight mode. What is... Ooh, explosions. Explosions everywhere. Ah! 
which were actually helpful. Oh, that was two. Hey, cool. Earlier I said two for the price of one, this time the game says it. I'm not sure why that crane was holding up explosives, but not gonna complain. And the path forward is... School bus! No, that's not a school bus. That's a train That's car. a train. That's... Oh, more cars. It just hit you. I don't know. There's another boat. Honestly, no matter what it is that hit me, it can't be more concerning than the thing that's dropping out of the sky. Another boat. That's an even bigger boat. I'm going to look at this boat. Okay, I would go and look at the boat, but there's all this stuff in the way. You know, that boat's probably just mad because I didn't bring its propeller back. Well, how are you supposed to lift it? Boats aren't known for being rational. Boats are emotional creatures that are easily offended. Especially when you say their hull's gotten pruny. You stay in the water too long, they get wrinkly. The darkness wears her face. Well, that's pretty obvious. She's sounding increasingly evil. Where is the way out of you, building? Oh, stairs. Stairs are a handy way out of buildings. Dip. Alan. See if you can climb back up. You leave Alan alone for just a few minutes, and he finds himself falling through floors. I'm going to get a good look at whatever is next. Does this drop me back out? That actually looks like that would kill me. That looks like where I want to drop. Oh, this looks like it's going to be an impressively large-scale fighting place. Okay, we will deal with impressive large-scale fighting next time. We'll just back up. We'll leave Alan right here. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.